something we don't see very often with these videos but i do hope we get more soon we have a tablet and it's none other than the samsung galaxy tab s9 ultra and we're gonna put it through the gaming gauntlet of genshin impact honkai star rail cod mobile and PUBG mobile and see how well it performs and this thing is it's huge I can I even get it in the screen? God damn. Performance wise, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra 5G that we are using has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, an Adreno 740 for its GPU, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, and everything plays out on a 120Hz dynamic AMOLED 14.6 inch screen with a 11,200 million power battery. That's a lot of battery. Before we run the test, let's do a baseline of the temperatures of the front and back of the tablet. So we're looking at 26.7, 27-ish at the top here in the middle as we go down, 27-ish across the board. Also, we are currently at 100% battery. So let's see. All right, pretty uniform all the way. Let's check the back. 27-ish at the top. Okay, still pretty much in line with the temperatures on the front. Let's keep going down. Nothing out of the ordinary, just 27 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, with that, let's get into our first game, Honkai Star Rail. Alright, so now that we're in Honkai Star Rail, let's just check things out and let's check our settings real quick. Settings. Alright, so everything's on very high, 60 FPS, and I think things are looking pretty good. So with that, let's just see how the camera moves. There's no frame rate drops whatsoever. Nothing is really breaking this game so far. Let's see Japart real quick and he looks really good on the screen. Damn. Alright, let's just do quick changes for Zaria. Japart. Faster. Sample. Alright, things are looking pretty good. Okay, I think we're set. Let's just enter the simulated universe. Nice. Let's just get this light out real quick. Should just, just turn this off for now, just lower that. Alright, let's just go for a bounce. Looks looking pretty good. Oh, nice. I mean, we are way too overpowered, but I just want to keep the using roll on for now to keep some level consistency. It's back. Alright, let's go for an ulti. Let's see what how it fares. King. And for me to portray the king, well, nice. Okay, so things are good. Very smoothly. Okay, okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Bounce. Let's go. All right. My turn. Nice. All right, let's go for a break. Blast. There we go. Nice good part to be in hand. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's just keep working towards that meat. We need a strategy. Alright, let's go. We don't need strategy, just need weapon. Let's go. Alright, uh, let's get the shields in, let's get the ultis in. These ultis should come out pretty smooth, I guess. Yes, okay, that's super smooth. Nice. Right. Here we go. Blast. Yeah, alright. Let's see. Okay, okay. Come on, just a bit more. Oh! Okay, never mind, we got shields. Nice. Oh boy. Speed this. Alright, we're almost there. Alright, let's get those shields up again. Nice. Bam. Okay, sick. And we're so close to being this guy. Alright, I think we should be able to. Yep. And we're done. Nice. So, before we get into respite, let's just check our temperatures real quick. Temperature game, we are at 38. Oh, okay, that's heating up quite a bit. 35, 33, 35 again. And wow, yeah, okay, it's heating up. Not, not as much, actually, I've seen worse. 
a 38 around here. I, I guess this is where the processor is at, but honestly, it does not feel like it's a 38 right now. So with that, let's check the back real quick. So far, no major frame rate drops. I haven't seen any frame stuff doing of any sort. It's handling the game pretty well. The Samsung S9 Galaxy Tab Ultra. All right, let's check the back. 36.8. Funny enough, it's 36 here, but it's not 38 on here. All right, but still, doing a pretty good job. Oh, 39? Where is that? Okay, that may have been almost normal, but never mind. Let's keep moving on. 38 around here somewhere. Alright, nothing. Still, it's still alright. I mean, given it's Honkai Star Rail, it's a pretty intensive game. But with that, let's keep moving. Let's move on. Two. No, 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 no. I do not want to exit. Let's just move on to the boss. The we don't need the strategies in the back then. Let's go. Nice, all right, let's activate everything and the kitchen sink. Let's go. Nice, we're closing. All right, start off with the two. Alright, let's him. Right, he's moving very quickly now. Alright, let's go to Alpine. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Nice, we're so close to finishing this up. Apart. End him. Tough luck running into me. Okay, we need to protect as much as possible. Alright, that's a wrap. Alright. Just one down. One more to go. Oh, I don't need to do, but never mind. Let's just get his shoes up. Okay, Rosario's not down yet. Okay, my bad. You're so close. Alright, let's get cheese on her. Alright, Wackies. We're so close. Nice, okay, sick! And with that, we've come to the end of Honkai Star. Let's check temperatures really quickly. Alright, 34, 39 out here. Honestly, it does not feel like it's 39. Let's check, let's continue checking, 37, 35, you're yeah, doing pretty good, alright, oh, 38 down here, alright, nothing too crazy, kind of expected to be honest, I mean it is Honkai Star Rail once again, and let's check the back, it doesn't feel that warm, it's still pretty cool to the touch, except of course you know this area down here, that's probably where the processor is at, but other than that, it's, it's doing pretty well. Alright, 39 right here. Oh, almost 40 somewhere around here. Almost 40. Yeah, let's keep going. And yeah, alright. Pretty good stuff, Samsung. And with that, let's get into our next game, Genshin Impact. So we are hot off the heels of Honkai Star Rail. Let's just check them for just real quick. We are currently at 96%. And let's go down. 29, 28. Everything has more or less gone down a little bit from the initial readings that we had at the end of the gameplay session. And yeah, let's check the back. 28.6. All right. And 29.2 and 28.7. All right, everything's looking pretty okay. All right, all right. Okay, nothing's even going over 30. This thing dissipates heat pretty well. And with that, let's move on to Genshin Impact. Yeah, so now that we're in the game, let's just check settings real quick. Settings. And graphics. Okay, so everything's at the highest, 60 FPS, everything is turned on. Alright, cool. Now because it's Genshin, you know, I'm gonna need to hold this up a little bit. But before we do that, let's just see our character in the details. And as you can see, yeah. 
It's looking pretty damn good. Look at that. Some nice shadows and everything. As you can see the rendering distance is pretty far out. And even with the sakuras and everything falling, there are no huge frame rate drops or anything whatsoever. Let's just do a quick character change. All right, no stuttering, no frame rate drops, and let's just move him around. The camera is looking pretty good. All right, so with that, let's just run through the city and see if there are any other drops. And I have to say that this thing is, the tab is huge. That's one thing, that's, that's a damn sure. All right, things are rendering in right now. And with that, let's keep moving. And so far I haven't seen Okay, a bit of frame stuttering here and there, and things are still rendering in. Okay, cool. Let's just keep going. I mean, it's still quite bearable. It isn't bad or anything, and it's not completely failing. So this is a pretty good start for Genshin Impact. And, hmm, that, that was alright. But let's just see how exploration and maybe a little bit of combat will work with the pad. Alright, so now that we're out here, not much frame rate drops and it's looking pretty smooth. It's, oh, Genshin looks beautiful in this thing. Okay, a little bit of frame rate stuttering there. But it's, oof, look at this. It looks great. And that, let's just get into some combat. Let's keep moving. Yeah, I know that. Alright. Let's just do an ulti real quick. Alright, it's a bit hard to move around. I mean, given that this is not exactly <laughs> game form, so I think you probably need a control for this thing. It's not the most practical, if I'm being honest. Yep, I can't really get to the buttons that I want to. Alright. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Alright, yeah, here we go. Keep going. Let's go for another... Let's go for another ulti real quick. Alright, hopefully we can get you down. Oh boy. Okay, nice. I think there's one more guy somewhere on here. Where are you? Oh, there you are. The combat and everything looks pretty good. I haven't seen any major frame rate drops. A bit of frame stuttering here and there. But the thing is, if you're playing big games like this, the tab is pretty huge. So it's not super practical. But if you had a game controller, I think that would fix most of the issues. So. Exploration and combat outside so far, pretty alright, nothing major, and with that, let's just go into the Spiral Abyss and see how it handles multiple enemies. Alright, so uh, forgive me for the team composition, I know it's terrible, but we are going to get through this. Look at that, ulti real quick. Alright, let's overload them actually. There we go. Ooh. Oh, I should just use them in the start. Wow, I get them to do that. Alright. Shouldn't let your guard down. Looking really good. Alright, yeah. Nice. Okay. So, things are looking pretty up for this thing. I mean, honestly, no huge frame rate jumps whatsoever. So, yes, let's just keep going. And I missed that completely. Nice. Ah, oh, that's cool. Let's go. This moment will be frozen in time. Cool it. Cool. Ah, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disappear. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. There we go, things are looking pretty good. Oh yeah, here we go. keep going, keep going, keep going. And there you have it. Let's check temperatures. 
Okay, so, uh, 33 at the top here, okay, we're doing pretty alright so far, 29, 30, not as high as I expect to be, but actually this tab is doing really well right now. Let's try and find that, okay, can't find it now. Still 30 on there, 30, 31, 29.5, and yeah, practicality of playing a game like this on such a huge screen. I mean, you can do that, if you had a controller, I think they'll make things even better, but other than that, performance-wise, it handles it pretty well. And with that, let's move to the next game, Call of Duty Mobile. Before we get into the next game, this channel is supported by brands who help us improve our content and keep us going. So stay around for this sponsored message. Meet the Cyborg 15 gaming laptop from MSI. Check out its translucent material design that not only looks good but feels good thanks to its ultra lightweight chassis at only 1.98 kilograms. Give yourself the upper edge in gaming with its blazing fast performance powered by the latest 12th gen Intel Core i7H series processor and Nvidia RTX 4000 series GPUs. And stay immersed with its Nahibic twin speaker sound system that provides an auditory feast like no other. For more details, check out MSI.com. Okay, so we're hot off the heels of Genshin Impact. Let's check the front. Uh, 31, 31, 31, 30. Some of the best images I've seen so far. And yeah, nothing too drastic, nothing too crazy as of yet. A lot better than a lot of the other phones and even gaming phones that I've tried. Let's check the back. 30.9, 31 31.9, 32, 32 around here. I mean, yeah. Okay, 31 and... Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So with that, let's play Call of Duty Mobile. And as some of you have requested, we'll be playing the Battle Royale mode instead of multiplayer. So now with the main menu, the major is looking good as always. Look at that. See how the light bounces off her hair and her jacket. That looks really good. But before we get into the game, let's check our settings. Okay, settings wise, we are on very high for graphic quality. Frame rate is on max. Battle Royale mode, everything is turned on. So with that, let's just get into a BR match. <sighs> All right, so, so far, no frame rate stuttering whatsoever. But we need to see how the tablet will perform once we actually jump off. Looking pretty good. Animations, cutscenes are looking pretty all right so far. Let's see. Nice. Oh, what was that? I have no idea. Right, let's check where we're gonna go. Nice. So as we are going there, let's just get down as quickly as we can. There we go. Alright, so even the details on my parachute and everything with all the animation and stuff, it's looking pretty good. I just need to get down but it's as quickly as possible. Why? So we're back in. Just need to find out what is all this textures and everything going on here. Okay, it's something with the game. It definitely has to do with the game, not maybe the, the tab, but yeah. Anyway, let's keep moving. I, where am I getting shot from? Oh, behind. Okay, ready to go it off before he try to hit. No, okay, okay, yeah, never mind. Alright, let's keep going. Need to find some shelter and some guns really quickly. Where's this guy at? Oh, there you are. Okay, so as you can see, it's not the easiest thing to do with to control guns. Come on. Oh my god. Okay, this is why. This is exactly why I have that. Oh my god, these fucking dogs. Okay, that's done. And we have a lot of resources now. Everything's looking pretty good. Alright. We are fine. I have no idea what event is going on right now. Okay, let's get out. Okay, things are looking pretty up. Okay, don't need that. What even is that sound? What is going on? 
Oh boy. Okay, at least he's down. Get him. Half of the teams are eliminated. All right, nice. Do you okay? Oh boy, okay, that's bad. We need to run. Thank you. Oh wait, how many people are there now? What? Nice, and we won. Okay, so with that, let's check the final temperatures. Wow, and also we are currently at 86% battery. All right, 28.9, 35. Okay, this one is heating up pre quite a bit more than Genshin, which is surprising. Yeah, 33.5, 34.9. We've got higher readings here with Genshin, than Genshin or Honkai Star, that's interesting. Okay, so, again, here's about like 37. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, but the thing is, it doesn't feel hot. It doesn't even feel warm at all. It's just a little bit, a little bit warmer, but still pretty much cool to the touch. And let's check here. 32.3, 35 here, 34, and yeah. All right. <laughs> the tab is doing it well. The tab is performing well. So with that, let's just get into our final game. <laughs> PUBG Mobile. All right, we are hot off the heels of Call of Duty Mobile. Let's check temperatures real quick. We're 86% still. 27.9, 28. This thing has cooled down quite a bit. All right, 27. Okay, nothing too gnarly. Let's check the back. And 27.7, 27. Everything is looking a-okay. Yeah, wow, this thing really handles heat pretty damn well. And with that, let's just get into our final game, PUBG Mobile. All right, so we are at the start screen. Let's just check the settings real quick. All right, so for our settings, we are on smooth graphics right now, extreme frame rate, and four times anti-aliasing. Everything's looking good. Let me just bump up that audio real quick. These are some really good speakers. And with that, let's just get into a game. Everything looks all right. My character looks really good. I'm just trying to get her around. And yeah, as you can see how the light is bouncing off her jacket, it's looking pretty good. All right, so we have to see what happens when we drop off. Okay, C130 is looking good. Everything looks fine. No major fearing drops, of course. This thing is only that sweet Snapdragon like Agent 2. Let's wait for drop off. It's all the way down. Okay, about three quarters of the way there. We're gonna be changing direction real quick. And about. Okay, not three quarters, but now. Alright, we have hit it. Alright, we hit rolls up. Nice. Enough hang time with the parachute. We're gonna be landing on that rooftop right here. Let's get on point. Sick. And we have a lot of things going on right now. Okay. Again, this thing is pretty huge. So do bear with me here. Nice, he's down. That's right. There we go. Woohoo! Hey, that's my kill. Oh, there he is. All right, this one down. Even more. Very, very busy round. But so far, no big frame rate drops. Everything is moving pretty smoothly. Let's see if we can get some crossbow action. 
Оп. Сим. Сим. I'm standing still. Right, here we go. Nice. Lots of kills. Nice. Took him down. Where's the fire coming from? I see him. I see him. Nice. It's one down. Nice. And a grenade for you. And uh, yeah, everyone's dead. Oh, very hot, very hot. Okay, this one down. Fuck! Okay. Man. All right. Okay, that's great. Okay, so while we're down, let's do a... Oh, we're all down. Nice. Except for Green over there, who is like halfway across the map. But never mind. Let's just check the temperatures real quick. And yeah. So we're at 34. Gets heated up quite a bit here. 33.9, 32. Okay. And nothing out of the ordinary, but also nothing too gnarly. So we're actually doing pretty all right with temperatures here. Let's check the back real quick. Let me get some light on this right here. All right. So, starting from here, from the top, sorry. 33, 32.7. Yeah, nothing exceeding 35. Yeah, this is, this is handling heat pretty well. Man, all right, all right. So, I think um, somehow we're still alive. With that, I believe we can go to our final thoughts. Oh, timely. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra 5G performs really well and its large size is more than perfect for heat dissipation and a generous screen size for mobile gaming. With the tech and spec it has, it runs all the games we played with very little hiccups along the way. Only thing I will say is that this thing is huge and long term sessions wouldn't be kind to your gaming hands. You could shift around the buttons for the individual games of course, but in the long run I'd suggest getting a separate controller so you can truly enjoy the tab in all its glory. If you have any questions about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra 5G, leave them in the comment section below and if you like what we do, make sure to follow us on all of our socials right here and maybe leave a like and hit that subscribe button, it goes a long way in helping out the channel. If you want to see more stuff, check this out.